Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a really short, quick video, but I just wanted to show you guys my ASIC Stalogy. If you follow me on Instagram, you obviously know that I got this. I seriously got it on such a whim. It was so random. I was like, you know what? I want to get an ASIC Stalogy for like art journaling or whatever random thing I want. Um, and obviously I haven't done much in it yet. I've only done like that many pages, but I just wanted to do like a mini flip through so I can talk to you guys about like how I'm using it, what I'm using it for. And then obviously given that I keep going with it, I will come back at a later time and tell you how it's going. Um, I am familiar with the A6 bound book size. I, you will know this actually, if you've followed me for a really long time, or if you've watched some of my older videos, I used to use an A6, um, Hobonichi te Teco, te Techno, the daily pages. And I used to do like daily, like watercoloring and journaling. I also was in a Hobo Weeks for a really long time. So I am kind of familiar with like this size, this paper style and everything. And I just decided I wanted it again. So this vinyl on the front is from Pretty Planner Crafts. I also put this sticker from like a Happy Planner sticker book. Um, when you first open it, I did tape these two pages together because they were driving me nuts, but I taped in this card from, um, that was a freebie from Poi and Hun, I believe. This October kind of acetate tip-in was a freebie from Rose Colored Days. And then I just put some pretty elements. Um, that's like a sticker. That's a Pinterest printout, another happy planner sticker that was like cut from a journaling card. I kind of pretty much just went through my stash and just grabbed various elements to just art journal, I guess. There's not a ton of writing in here, but it's really, it's been really, really fun and honestly really relaxing. This is one of my most favorite spuds that I did. So these three are actually square page flags from cloth and paper. I think I used cashmere... Hmm, maybe Dusk and Nude, I think. Cashmere, Dusk and Nude, I want to say is the colors. Um, a lot of these, some of these pictures were printed from Pinterest, washi tape, just some stickers that I had in my sticker stash. I think these are Paper Panda transparent stickers. Um, I did also print a bunch of images from Pinterest, mainly line art, on vellum, and then I cut it down. So I actually like rearranged a bunch of line art photos on Canva on like an eight by 11 paper. And then I literally just printed that, but on vellum. And then I cut everything out individually. So I could tip in these cute little like vellum things. Um, so that's that. This was a page inspired by Hannah of Caffeine and Plans, although now she's freckled in enough. She used to have a, a Sextology art journal like ages ago, and she did a spread just like this, so I pretty much recreated what she did because I thought it was so beautiful. I literally took a black journaling card that I got from a shop and just like ripped it, um, and then that's from Pinterest. I love this spread. This is like a little coffee spread again. Photos from Pinterest. This is like brown craft paper that I ripped. Another like little line art that I printed on vellum. And I did actually take a book, like an old book, and I ripped some pages out. And I ripped them just to make this cool kind of looking spread. The next one, this is a card from Elmon, just some like washi. I tipped in this rose vellum, which is super old. God, I think this was from... Um, Oh my God, it was from a subscription box. What's that shop that's been doing subscription boxes for like years? Christy Tomlinson, that's her name, but I cannot remember the name of her shop for some reason, but that was from one of her set boxes. Just a sticky note, little circle sticky notes, you know, just some stuff to make it cute. That was from a Happy Planner sticker book. I printed those two from Pinterest, ripped more of that craft paper. That's a Lace and Whimsy sticker. And then here I just had some like, I printed this like grid vellum on, or this grid pattern on vellum. That's a circle sticky note from cloth and paper. Um, a little a journaling card freebie from orders. Um, happy scrappy vellum. And then this I printed out as well. And then here, so this was actually a tarot card that I got um, in a crystal order and I just like wrote some stuff underneath. This love card I got as a freebie with an order as well. A happy planner sticker book, another random sticker sheet. I pretty much just like went through my, I'm not kidding you. I went through my stash. I mean, I've been planning and journaling and whatever for a really freaking long time. So I can easily go through my stash and just find all this random stuff just to throw together like this. But it's been really fun. 
This spread was inspired by somebody that, a journaler that has a ton of followers that I follow on Instagram, but I cannot remember her handle. But just know that this was inspired by someone else. It's just like, I cut out like a piece of black paper. These are like rips from books, just various, again, various stickers. Um, this like paint swatch in the coffee I printed from Pinterest. I just love how this looks. Washi tape, ripped, ripped craft paper. It goes a long way. You can see how like very simple elements like can make such a beautiful spread. Um, this was actually the other side of that black journaling card that I ripped. Yeah, this was like the other side of it after I ripped it. So I put that to good use with some things that I printed out again on printer, printer paper, another happy planner sticker. Now this is where it gets a little different, right? Cause it's all like art journaling up until this point. But I just decided like every new page of this Stalogy is a new possibility. Like I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want. If I wanna use my cutesy stickers and do a memory planning spread, I'll do that. If I wanna do a sleek neutral art journal spread, I'll do that. I can do whatever I want. Like there's so many pages. It's just so fun, I don't know. So this was my birthday week. My birthday was October 15th, so just a couple days ago I turned 27. I would like to stop aging. I feel as though I'm approaching 30 and it's making me uncomfortable. Um, but I just wanted a pink luxe explosion and that is what I did. I'm not gonna possibly say where all these stickers are from, but majority of them are Fox and Pip and Kina Prince as well. But I literally just put like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I just wrote stuff that we did um, each day. Ironically enough, on my, or not ironically, that was a weird word, but on my birthday week on Monday, we actually had to put down my childhood cat, which was heartbreaking for my whole family. My dad is still very, very upset over it, and I'll talk more about that later because I actually did a spread for him. But this is Sparkly Paper Co. Lux Vellum in the white foil. I love it so much. I have it in my personal planner. I have it in one of my pocket planners. And I also tipped some in here as well. And then this is just the other side of that spread. I mean, how freaking cute. Like, I just love that this page is just, like, littered and scattered with all these pink stickers. Like, so freaking cute. So, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I had a really nice week. I took the week off work. Um, and it was just, it was awesome. So this is a spread that I made using High Paper Clouds journal stickers. This was like a journal kit of hers, some Simply Gilded Washi that I love so much. It's like holographic. Um, and yeah, that's a picture of me and my girlfriend. And I just pretty much, it's pretty much supposed to be, I guess, like an October monthly spread. I just wrote down like some of my favorite like memories. Like I've been loving the Machine Gun Kelly Tickets to My Downfall album, like such a good album. I just wrote down some of my favorite things of the month. That's all. I know the month isn't over, but, um, but yeah, this kit was from High Paper Clouds, and I actually have a code with High Paper Clouds. It's Amanda20. She has a lot of really nice minimal stickers, transparent stickers, and journaling stickers. This is one of my favorite spreads. So this one was really cool because I used, like, a bunch of different, like, stationary elements. So pictures printed from Pinterest. This is from an old Honey Bee Shop sticker sheet. Obviously, the book, that sticker was from, like, High Paper Clouds, but this was cut out from these Lucy Plans Life sticky notes, which these sticky notes are supposed to be just like you write a different task in each box, but I cut it in half and put that there. This was more vellum that I printed. Um, I just printed a line art image on vellum. And then this is actually cut out from a wildly noted journaling card. So I placed an order with wildly noted. She sent this journaling card as a freebie and I just cut that out and used it. And then we are at my last spread, at least so far. So this is the spread that I did in memory of my cat that we had to put down. Um, he was a Siamese cat and he was, he had white fur and like super blue eyes, like the bluest eyes ever. So I kind of just did like a blue spread, I guess, in memory of him, tipped in some vellum. I know I should have, um, at this point when I was doing this, like I just didn't, I wasn't able to print anything at the time and I know I should print pictures of him. So I'll probably end up printing pictures of him as well and maybe putting them here or something. I actually got my dad like a big canvas with a photo of him. Um, because my dad's really, really upset. Him and the cat were super close, but I, we got him when I was like, I want to say a freshman in high school or maybe even earlier. I might've been in middle school. I can't remember, but he was 14 and he was really sick. Um, he had lost like, like his neuro, he had lymphoma and his neurological functions were like 
destroyed. I mean, he could not walk. He would fall over. If he tried to walk, he would just fall right over. His eyes were just darting back and forth like constantly. It was just really, really sad. So we made the decision to put him down. So I know he's at peace now. But on the other side, I just kind of wrote like a little letter to him um, with this cute, happy, scrappy white cat sticker. And I love this from the Honeybee Shop. It's literally like, look how cute that is. A little white cat paw and a human thing or a human hand. <laughs> so yeah, that's my little spread for my cat. That's all I've done so far. Um, the rest of the book is literally just blank, but I just wanted to show you guys. I knew that would be a short video, but I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully I will come back soon with another flip through once I have a lot more of this book completed. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.